Alright, so uh, this is uh, video number 26. Um, I made an extra copy of the final mesh, but I put a transparent shading on it, which is how, to, in order to do that, um, I first made a shader, a transparent shader. It's a Arnold shader. And then control A. I gave it a color. And all I did was I toned, I turned off the weight of the specular shine. And then the transmission, I put it like a little over halfway. Transmission is just a fancy word as for like to make it transparent, see through. Yeah, so to kind of gauge and see the proportions. And I also put on a, a display layer and set it to reference. Anyway, so it's good to take a look and study the proportions and the placement of the uh, body part for the deltoid and see how it fills out, right? So here it is, and obviously, you know, when you look at it, it uh, it just looks off, right? Like, and that this is where having some basic knowledge of anatomy comes into play uh, massively. And or if you're not too familiar with anatomy, to gather pictures, you know, say about whatever your subject matter is, and to study to look at it back and forth back and forth it helps to have a uh, dual monitor so you can come look uh, side by side yeah so you can see here obviously there's things that needs to be done All right that's why I took it uh, slow and steady and um, you know the least I can do right now is to set up the lines for it the prepping so I'm going to turn on the transparent one for a bit. So you can see here, this is a good example. Uh, the area that needs to be filled out. And also to see, right, where there ends up being additional line work needed. Like this one and this one, this one and this one. This one, this here, is gonna be for that. That needs to travel down. Ba 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 ba. But in order to even do that, things need to be prepped. So you can see here that this line, right? This is the main uh, silhouette strip line that I've been. I've been harping about, All right? And you see how further out it is compared to the final version, where the final version is closer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this back in more, but uh, I'm only going to grab from. I'm going to deselect the front area. Cause it's already pretty tight, and just up to here. So, Control Shift Right Click, Edge Slide, Slide. Like around here is good. This is the closest I think I'll go. Anything closer is gonna start pinching and doing, doing some weird stuff. Anyway, so this is just a prepping, making room. Turn off the grid. And I'm gonna okay, so I'm not gonna select this. Because if I do, it's gonna yank on the the neck slide again. Spacing, right? And maybe. 
be a little bit more out so it's tight and a little bit looser spacing because that that will uh, determine the uh, the curvature all right and next you'll notice the stretching right so what I like to do is uh, first of all turn off edge slide control shift right click next this part I'm gonna just press the backspace and then the neck it needs additional edge loops I mentioned that the neck there's 16 faces that wrap around seems like a lot but again because the fact that this is a larger character and you know more detailed it needs a multi-cut click and snap click and I'm gonna click up here and up here press W and then I think I want this to be closer control shift right click edge slide and man right around there yeah I like that but now I gotta go back in and uh, maybe just this at a time three at a time maybe I just go and grab the whole freaking thing but now it's getting tighter and tighter You know what, I'll, I'll work with this. And the crotch area has to be tight anyway. Yeah. Maybe I'll just loosen that up a bit. This other stuff, I'm gonna just, I don't care about it right now. Cause I have to end up deleting all, a whole chunk of it anyway, so. I'll put this part. Right, right, right. So now I'm gonna grab this. Pull, I have my edge slide on. Right. Again, it's just being patient. Again, I'm gonna go in and do some touch up. Wait a minute. Why can I? I thought I put this on the layer. I'm gonna put the left side onto its own display layer. And then set to reference so I can't grab it. I'm gonna put this to this whole layer. Save it. Alright. So I did that prepping. Um, what I want to do also is this part here go in and um, shift control shift right click turn off edge slide uh, just bulk it out so you have a nice profile of the curvature like that. it out so yeah okay all 
Alright, good. This part two, right? Again, reason why the curvature is doing this, where it starts off nice and grew up, right? Is because there's not enough edge loops here and to support this. Because right now, looks fine, but when you press three, brah, right? It folds, it bends in because there's no edge loop here and even if I go in here and if I go touch it up right it'll help a bit right just a bit but then you're gonna want one here so let's see here what can I do grab three at a time maybe Pull it out, buff it out, make it more wider. That's why you want to do this periodically, because if you have to do this for multiple columns of edges, it's too much. It's way too much to try, try to process and understand what the hell is going on. Okay. It's just good to have these habits. Alright. So as you can see, tight, looser, and it's going to be a little bit more looser after that. That we have fine control of the arc. Arch of the, not the arch, but the curvature of the back. Anyway, multi cut tool, click and snap click so I place it a little bit wider boom boom and then two at a time two at a time um, something like that again I'm keep I'm making it progressively wider compared to boom 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 and then even need this I'm just gonna go up to there I'm gonna delete this crap anyway so anyway so from here same thing as soon as I add an edge loop I have to go in touch it up that's the rule this part here I missed and bulk it back up Back to this, grab this and this and this, three at a time maybe, look from here, see, bulk it back up, maybe it was a bit much. Grab this, pump it up, up from here, nice back, very nice. Look from upside down, from close up, see the curvature, make sure I like it. Alright, one second. Do an incremental save. What is it? 
video number what? 26? part here I don't like this the arc if you think of it as a drawing right you want the you want your lines to be strong and flowing everything will come come together afterwards to okay next 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 They're clean look at that very very clean I'm gonna have to open this up a bit because of the spacing All right if you make parallel edge loops uh, too close like I said it messes with the mesh multi cut you know what maybe I need a there quick and stop some more yeah at least that much This is progressively building out the traps, the back muscle. So the mere fact of cleaning up the, the mesh and the proportions of each block, it you know inadvertently builds out the anatomy too. Blah blah blah. Click and snap. So this part's already getting kind of tight. So maybe I'll grab this and drag it out. Drag it out. Drag it out. See? Super important. All right, so it looks like um, I need to grab this. I need to drag this out. I was doing these wonky lines so I can just scale and smash it flat that way prevent any wobbling that gives me room to pull see pull pull look from here pull see you already can see that uh, this part is getting built out all by itself. 
just by following the topology and the proportions all on, all on its own it's coming together just by following those these um, fundamental rules see 